Hi, good morning. Uh, it is Memorial Day, Monday, May 29th, 2017, 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I'm getting ready for work. I'm just taking a look at the seismic activity over the last 24 hours. And right when I pulled up the site, about probably an hour ago, maybe less, there was a 6.6 uh, .6 earthquake here in central Indonesia that I've been expecting for a few days now. That pressure immediately transferred across the plate over here to southern Chile. And this pressure will now begin to transfer along these plate boundaries. These red lines that you see are the plate boundaries, specific plate right here. And it will produce similar size earthquakes. So a couple of weeks ago we had a series of mid 4.5 range to 5.0 range earthquakes that traveled along the plate boundary and made their way around the plate boundaries. And then we began to move up into the fives and 5.5s, upper fives, over the last few days. Um, you can go back and look at the last seven days worth of earthquakes and see those. I'm, I don't have time to do that right now. But I was expecting these upper sixes and possibly a seven in this region in the West Pacific over here. So now that this earthquake has happened, to me that indicates the beginning of an increase of the seismic pressure and the magnitudes have moved from fours to fives to now sixes and probably over the next week or two they'll move up from six into the 7.0 ranges anywhere along these plate boundaries down here on the coast of South and Central America down here near Fiji, Tonga, New Zealand and through the Indonesian islands up into Taiwan, Philippines, Japan up in here and along the Aleutian Island chains of Alaska up in here and so I don't really have time to go into detail but I wanted to document this with a little video and just kind of give you a rundown of, of where we're expecting so where we want to look for seismic activity now similar size is going to be in this region of course but also in these silent areas in between the latest events so we're looking at Papua New Guinea we're looking at Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, Fiji and Tonga, down here to the south in New Zealand, to the west Indonesia into Sumatra, Singapore up in here, uh, eastern India, Nepal and Burma, Myanmar up in here, and then a few days from now that pressure will begin to transfer all the way through to the Mideast up into Turkey, Greece, Romania, and then up into Italy, and then out to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge over in here. Uh, additionally, just while I'm here on it, there was a 2.9 earthquake yesterday, early afternoon, out here on the coast of California near the San Andreas Fault. Uh, we'll just call it a 3.0 earthquake. Within 16 hours, that pressure transferred out here to Kansas with the 2.6 and then later at Oklahoma with a 3.0 so whenever we see a 3.0 out here within 24 hours that pressure pushes to the east normally it would push through the New Madrid fault line up the coast and then expend itself out here at the mid-atlantic ridge up here in, in the north but because of what's going on here in the midwest that pressure seems to want to expend itself right here because they've created a weak spot. So I'm going to attempt to try to show that to you by just grabbing these coordinates right here and dropping them into Google Earth and taking you over there and showing you what's in that location. If you've watched any of my other videos, you probably already know where I'm going with this. But uh, it's just something that I, again, I want people to see and try to understand and so I thought I would capture it in a screen capture and make a video of it just so people can see what's going on and why that pressure that moves across. It's normal for pressure to come in here to the west and move across the, the North American continent and out here. But why is it expending itself right here? We're going to take a look and see right now. 
So we'll hit search. It's going to zoom right down into that 2.9 earthquake yesterday, followed by a 3.0 in California. It took 16 hours to come across, and this is where the same size magnitude struck. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and remove my cursor. Based on my research, we look anywhere from five to six miles. So let's get an idea of where six miles is, right in this region, right there. So that's six miles from the earthquake. This is where I begin looking for certain things, and I think you'll notice it immediately. You see these little spots right here, 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 all these little pads. These are not houses. These are not farms. These are not building structures. I'm going to zoom right down in on it, take a look at it. And you should notice pretty quickly what's there. That is an oil pumping well right there. So within six miles of the earthquake, there are a series of hydraulic fracturing gas and oil well extraction operations going on. You can zoom down in on them. Sometimes if you get lucky the GPS imagery casts a shadow from where the sun is. It's not that easy to see right there but that is an oil pump right there. So just to give you an idea, you look within six miles of these earthquakes in the Midwest, six to ten miles, you'll see these pumping operations. This is a hydraulic pumping operation. So right here you see the storage tanks. This is where they have wastewater. And they use that to pump down into the earth, fracture the shale underneath, and release the gas and oil, and then they set up an oil pump or a gas well pump. Let's zoom back out. Again, here's another one. Here's the storage pumps, and then right here, that's your oil pump. You can see the outline of it or the shadow of it in the sun right there. So feel free to do your own research, but I'm pretty well convinced that they are creating weak spots in the New Madrid fault zone in Colorado, Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, Texas, Tennessee. The whole entire area is littered with oil pumping operations where they've drilled down into the earth <coughs> and pumping out oil and gas and natural reserves. That's why we have cheap gas. I'm not necessarily against fracking. I'm just suggesting that they need to do more research on where they're doing it, how deep they're do doing it, and the, uh, the frequency. Because this is where we're starting to see earthquakes. Kansas is known for tornadoes, but it is quickly becoming known for earthquakes. So once again, within six miles, you see these oil pumping operations. So I just wanted to capture that on a, on a video just to uh, document that. So back to our earthquakes over here. About an hour ago, 6.6. .6. We can go over to the European site take a look at this earthquake, the same earthquake right here, and uh, we're showing the 6.6. .6. We'll take a look at see if we can find the scientific data on that. A lot of times the USGS and the, the European EMSC will lowball these earthquakes. They'll drop them down a magnitude. Yeah, you can see this was more likely a 7.0 earthquake that I've been looking for in that area. You can see some of the reporting is 7.1, 7.1, 6.9, 6.8. The averages are higher than just a 6.6. .6. So, just so you'll know, just because they report a 6.6 .6 here, it's more likely a 7. Alright, well anyway, so like I said, I just want to document this by making a little video 
and sharing it with you guys but mostly it's for my own research just to document what's going on so again Memorial Day 6.7 7.0 earthquake right here in Philippine in uh, Indonesia central Indonesia and all the areas surrounding it should be on high alert for similar size activity anywhere up here in Japan Taiwan Philippines Western Indonesia Papua New Guinea down here to the south in New Zealand and across the plate up in this region in here we should be looking for 6 and 7.0 activity eventually this earthquake will transfer even you know maybe to the north a little bit but it'll probably transfer down here to the south to the South Sandwich Islands and then out into the Mid-Atlantic Ridge if we do receive pressure that comes in up in here to the northwest we still have a slow slip event happening here in the Cascadia subduction zone but that pressure is likely to transfer down into here and then across North America and expend itself out here so I would look for an increase in seismic activity over here in the next four or five days threes fours maybe 5.0 out in this region right in here um, keep your eyes open if you live in any of these areas I do have friends on Facebook that live in this area up in here be alert have a plan be prepared don't be afraid it's nothing to fear it's just nature it's what's going on but I believe that earthquakes can be forecast with reasonable accuracy as to the magnitude and the location and timing for these earthquakes so look for similar size activity to happen and come over here to the USGS tomorrow and see if we had anything in the areas that I'm pointing to right here 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 up in here down over here and across the plate hope you guys have a good Memorial Day uh, if you're in the military I guess I should say thanks for serving but I uh, hope you guys have a great day if anything changes or significant happens I'll come back and I'll try to make another video God bless thanks for watching Please give a, a like to this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can find me over here on Facebook, and you can reach out to me there through Facebook Messenger. Follow me on Twitter if you want. God bless you guys, have a great day.